Okay guys, and on to the final thing we need to talk about uh, in this remake of videos is CN. So CN, um, we can have a variable called like int uh, input um, and initialize that to something like zero. And if we have something like this, we can have uh, count. So or and or not count, we can do CN input. So what is this doing? So we're saying um, the scene is basically going to stop the program at this line and wait for you like it's not going to do anything else and it's just going to wait for you to put in some input now we're asking for an integer so one thing to keep in mind here is that if you enter an integer that's fine it's cool it, it, like if we put a breakpoint in here we'll actually see um, break run through this and we'll say uh, 5 and if we drag input down to the watch or if we just hover over input both ways we can see that it is five. So, um, it, you know, it's input at that. But the problem you have to be careful of is if you put in something other than a number, then, well, generally, if you put in something like uh, a string, of course, it's not going to do it for me now. Yeah, it's operating correctly, but yeah, sometimes if you put in something wrong, it'll mess up. So if we look at um, putting in that, and then we look at what this is, input is zero. So yeah, it, it it's operating correctly. Um, maybe something, when I used to do this in 2008 when I was learning, if you put in the characters, it used to just spam. And I think it did in the part one, of or the first time I made this, it spammed. So I'm not sure why it's not doing it now. Whatever the reason, you don't want to. You you just got to be careful that sometimes you can get weird stuff happening if you put in the wrong type of input for this. Um, and there'll be better ways of doing input that I'll show later. But for now, this will uh, is an easy way of getting started. So with this, we can sort of maybe move this input ask in here, and maybe get rid of this. Um, maybe change this to uh, press or enter one to leave. And then so we'll get rid of this count and we'll change uh, this to something like if input equals or sorry is equivalent to count um, and let's change count to something like one. So what will this do? So if we, we uh, run this program using control F5 first so that we don't hit any breakpoints and we just can sort of watch what happens if we put in anything other than one it won't leave the function and the else statement will, will get printed which says print one so or enter one so if we put in one it'll get into this loop and it'll oh shoot uh, I didn't want to run that yet so let's actually uh, I don't know where all my debug well, all my breakpoints are so we'll go up to uh, go up to debugging I thought it was in huh windows uh, breakpoints and then in this breakpoint section uh, we can actually delete all breakpoints I'm pretty sure there w I thought there was definitely a way in the uh, in the these uh, drop down menus to delete all breakpoints as well but maybe it's not there by default but anyway so you can sort of go debug windows breakpoints it'll bring up this breakpoint window and then right here there's a delete all breakpoints um, there's also enable or disable all breakpoints so you can not delete them but make them disabled which looks something like uh, that they'll have like a just a red line so this won't get hit um, and you can also do it individually by clicking on the breakpoints and it'll tell you where, where that breakpoint is and the line um, and so you can do some pretty cool stuff with breakpoints um, but we'll put a breakpoint in here and we'll put a breakpoint in here and so what we can do now is if we hit 6 we can see it gets into the else statement and if we hit F5 to continue running, uh, it'll get back to the top of the loop and ask for input again. If we put in 1, you can see it input was equal to count, which is 1. Um, and then it set loop to false. And then when we F10 through this, you'll see that it gets to the end and ends the program. Um, count should probably be some more like um, uh, input, or not uh, choice 1, I guess. Um, so yeah, it, it you just name your variables correctly so that they make sense, I guess, is what I'm trying to do. Um, don't really need this anymore. I'm just going to clean this up a bit. Maybe zoom out one or two. 
they should still be readable but a little clearer um right so that that's that's cn so uh c out and cn are really sort of uh kin i guess cn brings takes input from the console into a variable c out takes uh stuff from the program out to the console um and to do with this namespace if we didn't have this namespace here um we would get uh some errors like it doesn't know what c in and c out is and you'd have to do this everywhere where you have c in and c out in order for it to know what it is but that's annoying that's why we use um using namespace std so that we don't have to add that everywhere um and that'll still work if you if you already have that done you could just it'll not complain it's just a, it's already done um but yeah so using this just eliminates having to do all that extra work of adding that std colon colon in front and this is how you declare something as part of a namespace and by saying uh, basically you're saying scene is part of this namespace and then the program's like oh okay yeah i can find that now um, but by using this namespace std it's going to put it everywhere where it should be and I'm starting to rant and repeat myself, but yeah, so that's that's C in. Um, there's some uh, frequently asked questions that I've done uh, already, um, which go over some of this stuff more in detail. So check those out. Um, and then yeah, let me know if this was helpful, um, if there was, uh, if this helped, and if it didn't, if you're still confused, ask more questions, and I'll do more frequently asked questions. And if necessary, I will do this whole set of lesson one or two to five over again because I think yeah lesson one was setting up the project so I didn't need to redo that because that was fine um, I just need to do these because I didn't zoom in the first time um, but yeah so you know if you're still having trouble to if a lot of people are still having a huge amount of trouble with this stuff let me know and uh, I will redo these again but tr try and check out the frequently asked questions videos first because they might answer some of the questions that you're having um, but anyways uh, this is Tolhi signing out later guys